Welcome back to Sunday Strolls. We're here in Poland, Krakow. Krakow? Either way. We're gonna do a camera comparison, the Sony A1, the Leica M10P. And we're gonna focus on these two digital cameras and see what it's like to try and get some street photography and just lifestyle photography here in uh, Krakow, Poland. These cameras are both awesome, but they are very different shooting styles. So this one, we'll start with the Sony. I mean, this one can shoot a ridiculous amount of frames a second. And you know, you can put it in silent mode, so it's completely silent. So for street photography, it'd be a real beast. And with the autofocus, you can really nail some stuff and be very sneaky about it. The Leica is completely manual. And so to pull this one off, you really gotta know what you're doing. You gotta know how to pull focus and, and do it quickly uh, to really get anything good. So it's kind of overcast, which is a bummer, but we're gonna make the best of it and see if we can get something cool. This one has a 35 millimeter. This one has the 3514 Sumalux. And this one has the 24 to 70, but we're gonna leave it at a 35. So they're both gonna be shooting 35 millimeters today. Let's see what we can go do. Man, these kids playing with the pigeons, that's fun. Doll me. I'm kind of funny, the pink bag, the sweats and the cigarette, kind of giving up on life there. Battery's low, do you got another battery? Man, I didn't quite capture the ridiculousness of that hat. Man, Europe's so much older than the States. So much cooler. Well, let's keep walking along. Let's see what we get. Other way. I guess we're going this way. And look at the leaves starting to change just barely though. That's cool. And look at this lady. She's got a great look on the chair there. We stopped for lunch. There it is, the cheese dog in all its glory. Who brought the foot long? You take a bite of this dog, it bites right back. Window. Here, step over a little bit.
that has some warts on it. We can get these nuns across the street. <sighs> Damn. Shooting blind and I missed it. I didn't get the nuns. Sony was a surprise for me. It was really fun to shoot. And that kind of caught me off guard because I thought for sure it wouldn't. I thought for sure it'd be the Leica. Something about kind of just being sneaky and holding it down low and trusting that the autofocus is doing what it needs to. So with the Leica to really help me out with the focus, you know, I'm setting it at like an F8, F11. And just before the scenario, setting up a general zone focus. I feel like this style of shooting is hard. It's super hard to get anything to capture a moment, to find someone at the right time and frame it up nice that kind of tells a story. If you're shooting it with film, like if I was on my M6, it would be, I'd be burning through a ton of rolls of film. I, my skill level isn't quite there to really be confident in my Leica or even this, this Leica here, the, M, the MP, the M10P. Is that what they're called? The M10P. The Sony took care of a lot of things that the M10 just couldn't. And so for a guy like me who's new to this style of shooting, it was nice to be able to just rely on the Sony, its rad autofocus, and just pop away. And I knew I, I knew I got some stuff with the Sony versus with the Leica. With the Leica, you really feel like you're, you're the one in control of the image and anything that, you know, if it's in focus or if it's exposed right, you're getting it. And with the Sony, you can re completely rely on the focus. And I, I mean, they both have auto settings, but you know, the light wasn't changing too much today, so I just kind of set, set it, both of them to what they were gonna be and, and didn't really change it. I feel like this style of shooting, this is where digital really just kind of saves your bacon because you can, you can afford to make mistakes and pop off shots that, just to see what works and then maybe hone my skills with the digital Leica. And then once I feel like I really, I become more aware of the surroundings and how to pick out certain things in a crowd and notice little things, that's when you jump back into film and. It definitely allows you to make those mistakes and learn the lessons without having to blow a ton of money on film. Overall, these two cameras are fun. And, you know, honestly, it's whatever gets you out there shooting. For me, it's been, you know, mostly film, but it was fun to play around with these two cameras today. You guys should pick up a camera and go shoot some stuff. That's what this channel is all about. So if you guys are liking it, you know, please subscribe, leave us a like, and, uh, Leave a comment on which one's your favorite photo and, you know, tips on street photography because I could use some pointers.